with Crazy Sounds, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. All right, Dave Spells one. And we are doing 10 minutes or less. Start the timer. <laughs> we are. Timer, boom. So, TNT, yeah. we, we like to circle around when we talk about people. No, I love circling around. Um, So, you know, we, we've talked about some different Chappelle moments. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, how he's kind of changed and turned into an old boomer. Oh, his, yeah, dude. He's booming it. He's yeah, been he's, booming he's, it up he's lately. He's definitely boomed. But uh, so, I'm allowed to talk about <laughs> Yeah, so you know, but like, you know, okay. In yeah. this day and age, you know, there's cancel culture, there's whatever, people oh. get mad, you know, things like that. God. But uh, it still doesn't give you a right to just attack somebody, right? Like, it, assault it, is still illegal. Yeah, you can't go around hitting people or shooting people. Right, or, yeah, whatever. So Or you harassing know. people, for that matter. Exactly. So, Dave Chappelle got attacked on stage. Some guy just ran up on the stage and tackled him. Yeah, I saw this. And, uh, I mean, they said he finished the set. Like, they said, like, he finished up afterwards. Yeah, you know, yeah. Whatever. I mean, he didn't actually lay hands on him. He tackled him, though. He, he kind of got around his ankle. He didn't really. I don't even think Jay Chappelle hit the ground. Did you see the video? I, I, I it, it's kind of, it's kind of not the best video, right? It's not the best video. I've seen close ups. He, he kind of got him. Dave Chappelle, like, stumbled a little bit, but he did not actually go to the ground or anything. It's not like the guys had to come out and pull him off of Dave Chappelle. He right. kind of missed. It was a missed tackle. The guy definitely would have ran another thirty yards for the touchdown. But <laughs> <laughs> he like right, as soon right. as he as soon as he missed the tackle, he like runs off backstage because he realized that he had messed up. Dave is buff now too. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, what man. I did see in this article that I found was that you know while the dust was settling, yeah. Jamie Fox comes out with a cowboy hat on, yep. and Chris Rock comes out, but they said Chris Rock got on the mic was like was that will smith yeah he did say that <laughs> pretty funny pretty funny nice yeah. call back so but um it's his first official joke about that too yeah that well i publicly. mean what a better time when someone comes out and attacks somebody on stage it's literally the same exact thing just you weren't famous yeah, yeah. so uh it's like no will smith would have got to stay he, but, would, he wouldn't have had to leave and nobody would have laid a finger on him sorry have they said anything about the motive to attack Dave Chappelle was he the dude didn't like him or had he been like um I hadn't heard anything about if they found a motive other so, than um like you know Dave Chappelle had made some I'm not exactly sure about the joke that he made prior to the attack there's some speculation that it might have been a, a person who was trans themselves I don't know because I've seen the picture that I'm sure that you've seen of the aftermath of the aftermath picture oh no I don't think I've seen it oh, okay no. so there's like this picture circulating of the guy after uh he got beat up by security and he's got like this big freaking knot on his forehead and his arm is like bent backwards oh they broke his arm i heard that yeah they yeah. broke his arm his arm's like bent backwards and he's handcuffed with that arm um it's not really like a gory picture we can't show you here not yeah. that we have the technology right right we, we do i mean but we, we probably could make it work yeah but uh it's not a gory picture it's not like anything it, it's kind of like it, it makes him look ridiculous more than anything else um but as far as motive uh he did actually have a song on soundcloud that came out months before this in the name of the song Dave Chappelle. Oh really? Yes. Oh, so he's he's so it's not it was premeditated. Um I wouldn't even say it was premeditated. I would say more is that he may just be a fa- he may be a fanatic and like a true fanatic to the point of like <laughs> I, I want to kill you. Oh <laughs> wanna, yeah, like like you're anything be mine to be or next nobody's? to you. Yeah. <laughs> Either you're mine or no one's. <laughs> Dave, I listen to all your stuff. Surely you won't mind if I jump on stage and tackle you. Right. Well, I've also seen that like, you know, with the internet now and there's a lot of people who are I, I don't know if if they're mentally challenged, mentally unstable yeah. or just plain stupid. We're like they'll, they'll fake accounts for people. will DM them and they'll t- and they'll think they're talking to the real yeah, person. Yeah, I've like, seen a lot of like that. Like there was a uh, like a, like a mentally disabled kid rushed the crowd and tackled a wrestler because he thought the wrestler owed him twenty bucks or a hundred bucks mm-hmm. or something because a fake account was like, hey, let me borrow a hundred dollars or whatever, mm-hmm. and he never paid it back. So he chose to go to the wrestling event and run out and tackle the guy because he owed him a hundred bucks or whatever. I'm not mad. At and there's it. female wrestlers who had said people. They were oh, reaching yeah. out and like saying there were relationships with them, and I'm like, dude, yeah, if a I, famous person mm-hmm. come, hits my DMs up, like Beyonce is like, hey Jonas, I love you, let's be boyfriend girlfriend, and I'm like, <laughs> sure, like, bro, come on, like you, <laughs> sure, they're, they're just gonna DM you and be like, let's get into a relationship over the yeah. internet. 
that happens, man. That happens. It does. It really does. I don't know it, what's wrong with people, but I like, know. how do you not go? <laughs> is this really you? Yes, of course it's me, honey. Like, I mean, look, um, it, it, wow, it's like there's so many places I could go. With yeah, this. exactly. I wanted and to set you up with a nice. A nice I, I don't want to skip over the fact of the guy who tackled Dave Chappelle. I just want to talk about this real quick. Yeah, sure, sure. But he had the weapon that he had on him because uh, security apparently at the venue was so crap. He had a it was like a replica gun. That when you pulled the trigger, a knife popped out. It was uh, a yeah, I saw it was a knife away. gun. I didn't quite understand what that meant. And I absolutely hate the fact that every uh, interview and uh, podcast I've listened to that have talked about this too, because we are not the first, has not made a Final Fantasy VIII squall with the gun sword. But never mind, whatever. Past that, I made the joke first, right here. Because Final Fantasy VIII was trash. Yeah? I know it was bad. <laughs> no, I, once I got into that card game part, I was like, "This is dumb." Dude, I'm I out. love that card game. It, it took away the whole. It, like, it, yeah, dude. You I had to get it. a freak. Once you get Ifrit, dude, you're good. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there is a there's a thing in in Japanese culture. They call it hikamori. Okay. All right. And Do you want this, this is, from Naruto or is this some other Japanese? This is, no, this is like okay. real stuff. <laughs> this is like geopolitical stuff, I would, to a certain extent. Or I should, this is geosocial. Um, Hikamori is essentially like uh, when, uh, the, because of the distribution of men and women in Japan, there's a lot of single men. And it is American for incel culture, to be honest. It's about guys who never leave the house, they stay home. That's what Hikamori is? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. It's so, about okay. guys who basically. You know, they don't leave the house. They don't have, they lack social skills and it can lead to degradation of certain social mental capacities mm -hmm. and they become, you know, they can become angry, easily agitated. Uh, mm -hmm. Mental disorders are more likely yeah. when you don't have social contact because humans were social creatures. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, for sure. So I would assume is that, yeah, after a pandemic where people who might have already been on edge. You know, and all it took was something to tip them over. This could very well be. I mean, gun violence is up. Violence is up all over the place. People yeah. are just pissed off because other people are pissed off because people are pissed off. Right, right. Well, yeah, you take you take an entire world that already had people who are too yeah. isolated and people like that that are like on the brink of a break, and yeah. then you force them to isolate mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for a year plus, two years, whatever. And yeah. granted, a lot of people didn't, but you know, it's neither here nor there. But, like, I feel that people are a lot more messed up than they were before. Lately, yes. It, yeah, Lately, yes. exactly. Well, yeah, Lately, and as yes. soon as lockdown ended, you saw gun violence spiked immediately. Yeah, yeah. People are wiling out on airplanes. You never yeah. heard, I mean, you heard about the occasional airplane person. Dude. Now it feels like every week someone's getting lifetime banned. Yeah. How would you let, you can't fly forever, so basically you're stuck. Welcome to the seven day drive club. Like, do you see a person on the airplane literally just chewing on their mask, eating it? Because like yeah. that that person was on edge. Yeah, right. that was the and all it took for that person was to be told to be put their mask back on. But for somebody else, it could be anything. Like you know, yeah, so and it's it's just nuts uh, to think about the you know, and even you know, and it's interesting when I first moved to Austin, mm -hmm. not with nine years ago, I guess now. Oh, yeah, my anniversary is today. Huh, nine years. Um, <laughs> actually, maybe tomorrow. Anyways, uh, there was hardly any gun violence here. Yeah. Like, there was really no murder. And for as big of a city as it was, crime was pretty low. Yeah. But now you hear about shootings downtown all the time. You hear about... Really? Yeah, there's been quite a few shootings downtown and other stuff and people getting shot. You know, it's, it's, it's a, a sign of the city getting bigger. But also, it's, I think it's Texas too. You gotta put that into account. It yeah, is Texas. True. Yeah, the so, easiest place to get, acquire, and carry a gun. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I read a thing on Reddit the other day. We have a short time left, so this will be a quick it. Sure. But like this, it was a lady who said she went to like she she was from Texas and she went out of state to go visit friends in like Maine or something for a wedding, mm -hmm. and she was the only one from Texas, and everyone was having a good old time and then she said once everyone found out she was from texas she started getting like discrimination about being from texas about like how the wearing the hats and the and i'm like 
I'm like, and everybody, and everybody, and she's like, I felt really isolated. And I'm like, does that happen? I've never had one person that I said I'm living in Texas has come to me and been like, da 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 da, the guns or the horses or the cowboy. And I'm like, it does happen. Is it state discrimination? Like she said, everyone there, started judging her, and they thought one hundred percent state discrimination. Ah, uh, people do say when I tell them I'm originally from Ohio, they do say I'm sorry a lot. Uh, Florida gets it. Oh, hard. Florida, ma- and in the comments, yeah, Florida mail was like. Hey, Florida man here, just check it in. <laughs> Everyone says this, this, meth, my cousin, my sister, and it's all true. <laughs> yep, Florida, Georgia, they get it bad. Any place in the South is going to get it. I guess, yeah, I don't know. Californians, I just, they get I just, it. I guess I've never told, like, I have had people, though, when I say I'm from Ohio, I guess you're right. They'll go, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people make fun of fine. You make yeah. fun of Ohio. But you know what? I'd rather be from Cleveland than Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I'll put the dagger in while there's, we're talking about there's it. There's even state, there's even city to city discrimination. <laughs> like, ew, Columbus, Toledo, gross. Yeah. Ew. So, but anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, for Jonas, TNT. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com. Uh, we are out.